Let's get you an update from Manipur. An uneasy calm prevails days after fierce clashes between two tribal groups. Chief Minister Biren Singh has appealed to the people to restrain from any form of violence and said that strict instruction has been given to the police and paramilitary to take action against those who create any disturbances. The state government also called an all-party meeting and the chief minister urged the parties to support peace efforts in the region. Unmanned aerial vehicle and army helicopters have also been deployed for the aerial surveillance along the Indo-Myanmar border to keep a check on insurgency. Here's a ground report. Presently, we, we are at a very uh, remote location in Manipur. This is where one of the uh, most sensitive areas uh, in, in, because this can be regarded as the most sensitive areas because of the law and order situation that occurred here two days prior. This is one of those roads where arson and vandalism uh, occurred and this has been told to us by high level sources. And today we are going to show you a completely contrasting picture. This area has now been totally manned by the armed post, uh, forces. As you know that uh, 14 companies until yesterday and today 10 companies have arrived in Manipur to control the law and order situation. And uh, there has been a relative peace and stability when with the intervention of the armed forces and the center strong hand in dealing with the law and order situation. This is a flag march being done by the Indian Armed Forces, as you can see on the screen. The Indian Armed Forces are resorting to first to relief and rescue operations. Secondly, they are doing intense patrolling in these areas and also doing flag marches so that the vulnerable uh, people who are stranded here across the communities are well protected. And this is an example of the kind of, uh, uh, protect the kind of role that the Armed Forces are playing. We are here in Imphal West in Langol and as you can see here these people have been stranded here due to the law and order situation in Manipur and they have been safely being rescued by the armed forces and now being taken to the trucks where they will be taken to uh, the other relief centers that have been established just for them. The armed forces are trying their best to rescue and rehabilitate the people who have been stuck in this and priority has been given to women and children. As you can see that women and children have been given the foremost priority when it comes to the rescue and re rehabilitation. These are very highly specialized vehicles and they protect from any sort of vandalism and arson that might occur. So so, so the safety of the people who have been stranded in Manipur is paramount and over 10 companies have uh, arrived today and 14 companies have arrived since uh, yes, to the last two days. Properly they have been explained the relief operation as to what, will, uh, what, what they are supposed to do and this has been all led by the very different companies of uh, armed personnel that have been stationed in Manipur ever since the law and orders was affected and very importantly categorically as per sources these relief operations are not related to just one community across communities they have been rehabilitated it's